Good morning. Welcome back. Here's a live look in Oxford. You can see some rain is still coming down here on the sky cam. You can see that streets are still damp. We did have showers a little earlier this morning over us, but most of that rain has moved eastward into East Mississippi and heading into Alabama now. So now it's again to the forecast. Here's a look at all the watches and warnings that are going on, and it's pretty much in effect from later tonight into at least early Friday morning. So this pink color that's covering much of Arkansas, that's a winter storm warning. This darker pink ice storm warning, the blue gray color, winter storm watch, purple winter weather advisory, and the green is a flood watch. So again, a lot going on with this next cold front that's gonna be moving in. So basically as that cold air mixes in with the precipitation, that's just gonna cause it to have some freezing rain occurring, some ice accumulation, and possibly some sleet as well. So now looking at the clouds that are still moving in over our area, that's going to cause us to still have mostly cloudy conditions for today. And again, we've had some spotty showers occurring. Some are still occurring just to the north of Greenville, but it's basically off in East Mississippi heading into West Alabama. So now current temperatures basically in the mid to upper 50s all around the Delta. 57 here in Greenville, Greenwood and Monticello, 55 in Clarksdale and 62 down in Vicksburg. But the high for today will be in the mid 60s, so it'll be mostly cloudy again. And then we'll have showers. Winds will be from the south, southeast at first, then becoming north, northwesterly a little later on this afternoon. And also, since I was so busy with the other stuff, forgot to bring up Groundhog Day. The groundhog did see his shadow, so looks like six more weeks of winter for us, unfortunately. But the low for tonight will be near 40, mostly cloudy, showers, wind gusts could still get up to 20 miles per hour at times. And then for the high for tomorrow, it'll be in the upper 40s, but we could reach that just after midnight because as that cold front moves in, temperatures will be falling behind the front. So now looking at the severe weather threat for Thursday, this lighter shade of green basically means that thunderstorm potential is there, but the darker shade means they have a marginal risk for severe weather, so they could have isolated severe storms, can't rule out isolated tornadoes, and could have damaging wind gusts as well, but that's pretty much for central and southern Mississippi and Alabama and all along the Gulf Coast area. So we're pretty much in the clear up here. We'll just have some showers, and again, the thunderstorm potential is there as well. So now looking at the national map, you can see where the cold front is located because you see this dark blue shaded area right here. And you see all this cold air behind it with these lower temperatures in the negatives, in the teens, in the 20s. And then we still have this yellow and green colors down here for the warmer air. So again, cold front's pretty much draped over northwest Arkansas. It's going to continue to push eastward. The cold front should reach us by this evening, but then it's going to stall out over us for a few hours because then by tomorrow morning, we'll still have rain occurring. This low pressure system will be set up over us. And again, as that surge of cold air moves in, that will mix in with the precipitation, which can lead to freezing rain, some ice accumulation, some sleet as well. But for those of us in the mid and the south delta, it looks like our main threat would be for freezing rain. And that's for those of us who are under that winter weather advisory. So now looking ahead at the rainfall totals, so it's pretty much going to pick up as we're heading to tonight in overnight hours and early tomorrow morning, especially as that rainfall picks up as well. So we have these heavier showers with these yellows and oranges and some reds near Belzona. This pink moving in, that's that wintry mix of precipitation that will be occurring early tomorrow morning and on and off throughout Thursday as well. In that lighter shade of blue off to the, blue off to the northwest of us, that's snow accumulation. But by the time we get to Friday morning, we'll be drying out. Most of the wintry mix will be off to the east, heading into East Mississippi and West Alabama. So now looking at the seven day forecast, again, mid 60s for today, upper 40s for the high for tomorrow. Temperature will be falling behind it throughout the day. Friday, only going to be in the mid 30s, slight warm up into the weekend. And then by Monday and Tuesday, we should be at least in the low 50s range. So thanks for tuning in. Prepare for tomorrow and just be as safe as you can on your commute.